What's up there, good people? You know what time it is. Time for that daily screw. Man. That's almost all I can say. Man. You know what's going on about choices and changes? I'm going to show you how quick your choices can change. Yeah, I went over there to uh, Big Easy today. And uh, I can tell you this. Ain't no way in hell. I'm back at Forbidden, bro. Because, uh, you know, I worked in West Bank Tattoo for 11 years. That was a rundown biker tattoo shop. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? You could eat off the floors in there, man. It was clean. Even tat stars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I give them props. You know, I give black props for the shop because uh, it's in Seven Ward. You know what I'm saying? It's in the hood. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? You can eat off the floors in there. Black cleans it itself. The owner cleans it itself. The bit art. We got a clean bill of health from the Board of Health, man, fucking all across the board. I'm talking about, man, we think about these floors three, four times a day. Easy. You can more than eat off these floors. It's immaculate. Big easy. That's a different fucking can of worms right there. That should be big sleazy. I'm not tipping. It's not that I'm not, you know, used to a ta uh, tattoo shop or professional tattoo shop. This place here, oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Not only do they have too many artists for not enough business, the place is a fucking pigsty. I, I don't see how they ain't shut down now. I really don't. Besides not having any licensed tattoo artists, I mean, here we got every tattoo artist is licensed. You know, we got all our certifications. You know, we done passed all our tests with the, with the Board of Health. You know what I'm saying? That, oh my God, that's all I can say is, oh my fucking God. I didn't even un, un, unpack anything. When I got there and I'm looking at it and I said, like, well, maybe it's just because it's different from where I'm at. Maybe it's just because it's a change from what, what I'm used to. So I sat there for a couple of hours, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. They got mopping books in the sterilization area. You know, every garbage can's full. Fucking dirt all over. It, I, man, we mop three, four times a day. I don't think they mop fucking three times this week. That's straight the fuck up. It's unreal. Unfucking believable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, hey, they want to rock that way, they can rock that way. I would be leery of bringing anybody in there for a tattoo, you know what I'm saying? Of my, any of my own people. Because I worry about my people, you know what I'm saying? Which healthy, which clean. And uh, that's why I refuse to work out of the house, you know what I'm saying? Um, that is one shop I will not be in. Sorry. So, I'm back at the Bidden Art. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. 3 p.m., 5 a.m. You know? Dona's a, Dona's a good man. He's, he's rough to get along with sometimes. His box is more worse than his bite. You know what I'm saying? But he's had reasons to be that way. He's been in this business for like 30 years, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you're dealing with so many artists and so many years, you know, you get to be a certain way. And I don't blame the man at all. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. You just gotta know how to take people. You know? You gotta take people for how they are. You know? That's like if you're sitting there listening to two Chinamen, you know what I'm saying, talk. It sounds like they're about to kill each other. And all they're doing is telling each other good morning. So, you know, it just depends on the person. And, you know? So I tell you what, I, I'd much rather be right here than anywhere else.
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a oh, good God. That's all I'm saying. Good God. But again, it's a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson. You know, I, I didn't think that the grass was green on the other side or anything like that. You know, the owner of uh, uh, Big Easy had called me and, you know, apologized for the bullshit that he had going on last time. And I wanted him to come back over there. Well, I'm thinking Canal Street, okay, it's busy. I need to make a dollar, man. So everybody's hurting these days, you know what I'm saying? And, um, sure. No. I don't care how bad I was hurting. I will not put myself in that kind of a shop. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Will not do it. But it's a learning lesson, you know? I see what it is out there. I've been in a couple of shops now, you know what I'm saying? This ain't my first rodeo. I've been doing this for 11 years. Professional artist for over 30. And uh, I can tell you, that is not a shop for screwing, bro. No, I'm sorry. You got to do it. You got to do things right, you know what I'm saying? You open somebody up, man, and they get an infection or something like that, you know? No, I'm not having that on me. You know, uh, sorry, I'm not gonna do it. So, uh, scourge the fuck up out of there, man. One day, one day, that was it. You know what I'm saying? That, not even a full day. You know what I'm saying? That was enough. Cause I then came back, you know, to Forbidden, and I then did a tattoo in here tonight. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, sitting over there, and I just wouldn't do nothing. You know, Saturday the whole time, and ain't nobody did no work. You know, um, and that's amazing for being on Canal Street, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, working the way they've been working is kind of catching up to them, you know what I'm saying? People don't want to go, you know, where it's nasty, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, you come here, man, you can bring, bring your supper because you can eat off the floor, you know what I'm saying? Believe me, we'll mop afterwards. Uh, so, screw it back at Forbidden, man. I'm back at Forbidden. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's where I'm going to stay. You know what I'm saying? Sweat out the rough times. You know what I'm saying? Because the good times fixing to roll on in. Make it an egg Mardi Gras. Oh, Lord. But, uh, of course, I had to come to y'all and let y'all know exactly what's going on, what's up with Scrooge. And I put it on the board, right straight on the line for it, right on the table. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. This is my, my journey. You know what I'm saying? Thus is these daily screws, you know what I'm saying? It's to get you to know and learn who Scroy Louie is, you know what I'm saying? I'm always going to shoot you straight. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not going to bullshit you, you know what I'm saying? If it's, it's either black or white, there ain't no grays, there ain't no in-between, you know what I'm saying? It's either yes or no. There ain't no maybes, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight the fuck up. You know, I don't play no goddamn game. I'm too old for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Either you're gonna do it right or don't do it at all. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not doing it at all. Not over there, I can tell you that. She so wants some of Scrooge's fire ass ink, man. You come see me over here on St. Charles Avenue. 1631, St. Charles Avenue. I got you, man. Come see me. That's enough hollering for the night. Just letting y'all know where I'm at. Same old place, Forbidden North. Love y'all people. Mignano.